Hi, and welcome to this masterclass on how to make bread using the Ankish Room Assistant Original. So let's talk about how to set your Ankish Room Assistant up to use the dough hook. We're going to start by t- removing the lid and dust cover from the stainless steel bowl. We're then going to attach the dough scraper. This goes into the smaller hole. This larger hole on the machine is for our dough hook. Now, when you first get your Ankish Room Assistant, we encourage you to check this hole for a screw. This screw allows you to adjust the height of the dough hook. You want to make sure that the dough hook is not touching the bottom of the stainless steel bowl, but instead is situated just slightly off the bottom. If you need to adjust this screw, it is a standard screw head. So just put your screwdriver down in there, adjust the screw to raise it slightly so that your dough hook is no longer resting on the bottom of the bowl. You're then going to pull up on the pen, swing the arm over the top of the bowl, and then position the pen down into the brackets on the dough hook. You're going to then allow the arm to move back towards the side of the bowl and you're ready to start. Now, one thing to note, when actually mixing your dough and once you get all the ingredients in, you're going to position the arm and the dough hook in the middle of the bowl and you're going to tighten the knob. And that is your setup for when you use the dough hook. So let's talk briefly about when do you use the dough hook? We get this question all the time. What should I use? Should I use the dough roller or should I use the dough hook? We encourage you to try both and find out which one works best for your recipe. But here are some basic guidelines to help you know which one may work better. The dough hook on the Ankish Room works very differently from a standard, traditional stand mixer that you may be used to and how its dough hook works. Because the bowl and the ingredients on the Ankish Room are what's turning, and the dough hook on the Ankish Room is stationary, it's going to behave very differently than a traditional stand mixer with a dough hook. So for that reason, we encourage the use of the dough hook for high hydration doughs. But for today, we're gonna be doing a recipe right out of the beautiful recipe book that comes standard with your Ankish Room Assistant basic package. And we're gonna be making the baguette recipe which is a higher hydration, and it's about a low to medium size batch of dough. The dough hook, again, will work for a very small batch, a single amount of dough for a single pizza crust, up to about two to three kilograms of dough. So with that said, let's get started making baguettes from the beautiful homemade recipe book that comes with your Ankish Room. Now that we have our ingredients ready, Let's go over one more time how you're going to set up your Ankish Room Assistant using the dough hook. We're gonna start by placing the dough scraper in the smaller of the two holes. And then we're going to place the dough hook in the larger of the two holes. We're going to lift up on the pen. We're going to swing the arm over the top, lining the pen up with the bracket on the dough hook and then allowing the dough hook to come back to the side. The reason you do not want to knead your bread dough in this position is that the weight of the dough could press your dough hook into the side of the bowl. So we're going to start mixing at this position, then we're going to adjust the hook to the middle, tighten down the tension knob, and allow it to knead from there. Another quick reminder on the knobs for the Ankish Room. Your knob on the left is going to be your on-off timer knob, and then the knob on your right is going to be your speed control knob. A single click of the on off knob is continuous on and the machine will stay on until you turn it off. If you continue turning the on off knob, you'll engage the up to 12 minute timer. This is perfect for once you have all your ingredients in the Ankish Room and you're ready to start kneading, you can set that timer and walk away. If for any reason you need to turn the machine off before the timer has run out, you will not harm the machine by forcing it to the off position. A quick tip about the speed control knob. The Ankish Room motor has a continuous speed knob so that you do not have to get stuck with speeds one, two, three, or four. But it can also be difficult to know exactly what speed to knead at. We like to talk about the speed control knob like a clock, with pointed straight up to 12 o'clock is your lowest speed. You will generally not need a yeast dough higher than about a three or four o'clock speed 
we find that with the heavier, larger batches, stiffer, low hydration doughs, you actually want to knead at a much lower speed of between one and two o'clock. This actually allows the roller or the hook to come in contact longer with the dough and the mass of dough and do a better job of kneading. Your lower hydration doughs can be kneaded anywhere between three and four o'clock. So let's get started making our baguette recipe. The Anka Shroom really works best if you add your liquids first. We know that there are many recipes out there that call for adding your dry ingredients first. You will not change your bread recipe by flipping the order of those ingredients. So I'm gonna start here with my warm water. Yeast loves warm. So I like to start with a warm water here. Now I'm going to add my oil. And then I like to add my salt here. Yeast and salt do not really like to go in at the same time. Salt can actually inhibit the growth of the yeast and what it's doing in your bread to make it rise. And so we encourage you to add these two ingredients at opposite times in your recipe. Because I'm using an active dry yeast, I can add my yeast in right with my flour and therefore my salt's gonna go in with my liquids. We're gonna go ahead and put our salt in here and let it get good and dissolved in our water. We're gonna start on the lowest speed. Now here's a trick that I learned recently about the dough hook. It really starts coming together once you get about three quarters of your flour into the bowl while it's mixing. So don't be shy about adding your flour so that the dough hook can get going. So let's start. With the mixer running on the lowest speed, I'm going to begin adding my bread flour. Notice that the wide open top of the anchor shroom makes it so easy to add ingredients. Here again, we're not gonna worry about it coming together too much because I know that most of my flour needs to be in here before it's gonna really get started. Now that I have about three quarters of my flour in, I'm gonna sprinkle my yeast in. I'm gonna turn up my speed. The great thing about the arm on the anchor shroom is because you can move it, you can kind of gently move those ingredients back and forth to encourage them to get moving. And now we're going to continue adding our flour. Now that I can see that my dough is starting to stretch as it moves through the dough hook, I can determine, do I think I need a little bit more flour, the rest of the, the flour that the recipe called for, or do I feel like this is enough? And that's why we encourage you to start with your liquids and add your flour at the very end, because this allows you to comp have complete control of your dough and make sure that it comes out consistent every single time. I believe that I have enough flour added in this batch today, and so I'm gonna adjust the hook to the center of the bowl. I'm gonna tighten the tension knob, and now we're going to adjust the speed to a three o'clock speed, and we're gonna set our timer for 12 minutes, and we're just going to let the anchor shroom knead this dough. We'll come back when it's all finished. Now that the anchor Shroom has finished kneading our baguette dough, you can take a look at the dough. If you feel like it needs a few more minutes to knead, you're not going to hurt anything by turning the machine back on 
and letting it knead for a few more minutes. As you may have noticed in the video, the dough hook on the Anchor Shroom Assistant is very different from a traditional stand mixer dough hook. It actually kneads by stretching and pulling as the dough and the ingredients work through it, much like a Laffy Taffy machine pulls the candy. That's how the dough hook works in the Anchor Shroom. So very, very different. It's also much gentler than a traditional stand mixer dough hook. So you may find that recipes that would need for a set amount of time in another mixer need a few more minutes when you're using the dough hook in the anchor Shroom. But now we're going to remove the dough hook and the dough scraper, and we're gonna allow our dough to rise right here in our stainless steel bowl, and we're gonna use the white dust cover lid to help keep all of that warm moisture inside the bowl and allow our bread to rise. So let's remove our mixing tools. We're gonna start by pulling up on the pen. We're going to push the arm into the bowl. This releases the tension on the knob. We're able to loosen this and move the arm all the way behind and put our pen back down. Now we're going to remove the dough hook and using our spatula that comes with the anchor shroom, we're going to remove all of the dough on our hook. Now we're going to remove our dough scraper. And now using the curve of our dough scraper, we're just gonna run this around the bowl, make sure all of our dough is in the middle. And now we're going to put our lid on and allow the dough to rise right here in the bowl. We'll come back when this is done rising and I'll show you how to shape our baguettes. Now that our dough has finished rising, we're gonna shape our baguettes. Our lid has done a fabulous job of keeping all of the moisture inside the bowl and allowing our dough to rise. Now I'm going to scrape down the sides of my bowl with my spatula. Put some flour down. Now I find that even though the anchor shroom doesn't have a handle, what I will do is I will put my thumb on the post on the bottom and hold it so that I can take my dough out. And I'm gonna divide this into four equal pieces. And my spatula works great for dividing the dough as well. Now the great thing about these baguettes is they're more of a rustic shape, so you really don't have to handle the dough very much. I'm gonna bring a prepared pan over, and we're just going to start by taking one piece. We're gonna start twisting and stretching just to elongate it, and put it onto our tray lined with parchment paper. We're going to cover them with a towel, and these are gonna rise for 30 minutes while our oven preheats. When we come back, I'll show you our baked loaves of bread. So here are our finished baguettes. One tip for getting an extra crisp crust on your baguettes is right before you put them in the oven to bake, spritz the dough with water or spritz the inside of your oven with water. This is going to create steam and help to create a nice, outer crisp crust on your bread and your baguettes. I hope that this video has helped to show you how easy it is to use the Anchor Shroom Assistant and how functional the dough hook can be if used correctly. I hope that you've seen that making your own homemade dough is not a long, laborious, intensive pro process, but super easy when you have the right tool. Thank you for joining us and I hope you'll watch other masterclass videos in the future.